Hi, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is part 10 of our WordPress training. And let's go and see how we can set up pages. We've done a post. Let's take a look at pages. Now, pages are static pieces of information, and they're generally used to add in about us, uh, disclaimers, privacy, disclosure, that sort of thing. It comes uh, when you set up your first WordPress site, it'll come with a default piece of copy. You really want to get uh, rid of it. And then what I did is I created a piece of a, a copy inside my notepad. And then I came in here and I did a control V after I copied, pasted it in, and there it is. It explains a little bit about what the site's about. And then I clicked update and my new copy was in. But now I'd like to come back and add some other pages to uh, to the site. So let's start with uh, one thing they like to see is privacy. What are you doing with the private information? What is your privacy policy? You should have a privacy policy. You can get them online and review them and kind of customize them to your own need. I have a standard document that's got my privacy policy and etc. in it. So uh, you can come down and copy, do a control C, come back in, control V, and there you are. If you want to put a little more emphasis on, notice that I'm in the HTML, I'm putting everything bold, I'm in the HTML tab, so it's giving me the information Bold. If I come over here to the right, I'll click Visual. Now we'll see the bold and all the visual. Uh, this is my privacy policy. I'm going to click Publish. And I just created a privacy policy. If I want to add a disclosure, I've got disclosure text. You should do the same thing. Control C, come in, put it in. Oops, I don't want to do that. That's what I want to do. Disclosure, publish it. So I've just to put in my disclosure policy. I want to add new. Come back here. I've got a disclaimer. Control C. So you get the picture. This is how you add in in the page. Publish it. Now, where is this? Um, if you want to view what the page looks like, that's what the page will look like if somebody clicks on the tab. And what does the site look like? It's the site right here. And I'm. So I've created these pages, and uh, I'm going to make sure and see that they get eventually displayed on online. We're down here. So that's how you create a page. And where they the, the pages get viewed, uh, we, we will determine. Uh, and some of the uh, themes that they get to turn, they get displayed in the in the in the tab bar. We will go and see. We're currently in magazine. Let's go down and take a look and activate available th mega theme. So we want to activate it. Preview. Now you'll notice in this case, in this theme, it's up here in the headers. All my disclosure, privacy, etc., came up, uh, and that's where they normally should be. This is where there's the privacy policy. 
There's the disclosure policy. There's this, this disclaimer policy. We'll get it. And then we can go home. So pages. Um, the pages are where you can put your about us, your disclaimer, your privacy, etc. That's where they belong, and uh, you can set certain parameters with them, but that's how you do it. And remember, pages are different than posts. They're static, and in some cases, you, you, if you don't want the uh, search engines to crawl this, although they should probably crawl it to know that you have it, but if, if you don't, you can always go into your uh, sitemaps and set up the, the priorities so that these are crawled or not crawled. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, this is how you set up a page. I hope this has been helpful and useful. This is Claude Polano Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and talk to you soon.